everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today, we are starting a little new series, maybe, I'm hoping. We'll see how it goes. This is in Fullcraft 2. Yes, I uh, played Fullcraft before. I had it on a server, and it was not doing great. Um, but since then, I have gotten a new computer, as many of you know. And it's I consider it to be pretty beefy, and so I thought maybe I'll do a single-player series again in Fullcraft, which would normally tax a series a system and we'll see how it goes so i am here right now on this is uh like i said it's full craft 2 i just loaded it up i haven't done a single thing yet as you can see i haven't got anything yet and so we're going to start this off pretty quick here but i see a hermitron right away and those are really great because that gives you a box to hold on to so i'm going to grab that right now and then we're going to see what's in it and then we're going to start to figure out what we're going to do with this uh series here let's see here Okay, there are quests. I have to figure that out. I have to figure out what my vein miner key is, too. Here we go. Let's look inside of here. Ooh, we got a uh, rare. That's pretty good. It's the elytra, too. Let's grab that. Can I grab that? No, I, don't. I need a pickaxe first. So we're going to go get a pickaxe, I think. Let me go get a pickaxe. <laughs> it's going to be fun, fun, fun. All right. I did that. I got the uh, tree cut down. Punched it down, rather, with vein miner. Got the key set up correctly. So now we're going back here, and as you can see, I have a pickaxe. We're going to get this uh, Hermitron case, because we can use that for sure. There we go. Look at all that vein miner. Oh, I love it. And we're going to get this really quick here. There we go. Okay, so I need to figure out a place to uh, to start a base. So we're going to take a look around here. I mean, this. I mean, I even like this area right now. That looks kind of cool up there. Let's go see what that is. Looks kind of... Oh, wow. That's a neat little uh, structure. I'm not even sure what mod that is from. Uh, wow, it's kind of big. It's, now it's taking the place where I want it to be for now. Okay. Ooh, that's a big bush, too. It's got a lot of stuff in here that uh, I've kind of forgotten about. So we're going to... I don't know. It's kind of a nice place being right here. Do these have helmets on them or hats? Mm -hmm. A costume moo. Not sure what that is. Wow, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let's keep looking around here, and I'm going to see if I can find a place, and then we're going to make the beginning of a temporary starter base. So right over there is where I started on the other side of this hill. Uh, I came around the corner here, and I found this area. I like, I like it's flat. I like this little uh, enclosure here. You can see this thing here. I also see a cloud. We'll get that in a little bit, but I kind of like the way this looks. So I'm going to get some of this uh, coal here. I'm going to make up some torches and light this place up a little bit. And then we're going to see if we can make a little base. Now, I know it's going to get dark soon, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to get this uh, made up here. So let's get some torches made here. That's not bad. So then i uh, got to figure out what we're going to do here. I don't know where I want this specifically, but I'm going to make a some sort of cave or something in here. So I want to get this lit up out here so I can get into there. Because we're going to be able to uh, block that up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Is that a chance cube? I think it is. It's a chance cube because of uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's put this down here. And we're going to make uh, some more sticks. And let's make them all torches. Why not? And then let's make another pick so we can get some more of this uh, coal. I want to make sure we get the resources at least here. We're going to need food quickly, too. Because as you can see, my food bar is already down to not much. But fortunately, I did get the raspberry bush. So I'm going to put the raspberry bushes right over here. And that way we can start to get these things to grow. And then we have some food from that, right? And I apologize for the sound. It's rather loud. We can put a little break there. Okay, and I'm going to go back over it on top. That one's already... Starting to grow. Excellent. Probably because I am uh, twerking. But walking around, as you can see here, when I twerk, it seems to make things grow faster. But that way, we can maybe get some uh, food from that, and that'll be good. So I'm going to start to dig into here. Um, I'm going to go right about here. Now, I'm not going to use Vein Miner, obviously. That water's going to get really annoying. Okay. And we're going to light this up, and this is going to be my little tiny hole for when it gets dark until I can find a way to get, like, uh, wool and stuff so I can sleep. Okay? That's going to be something that I need to get pretty quick. Uh, let's go back here. Can we make a door? There we go. Old school vanilla door. 
That's going to be nice to have. Here we go. Let's put a torch above it. Look at that. There's our, uh, well, hole in the wall, I guess. So uh, we're going to start to go around. We're going to mine some things out. We're going to start to get some of these resources. That's interesting. I've not seen that before. But we're going to see what we can do here. Um, this will be kind of fun. So let me uh, start digging some more and get some stuff done with this corner. Well, I'm in a hole here. I can't get this because it needs iron pickaxe. I don't have any iron yet. Anyway, it has been raining a lot, and there's a monster outside. It is daytime, so if the rain was not here, it would be sunny, but uh, there is a monster. So I'm going to stick everything else that I have into this chest here. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go out there with just this axe, and I'm going to see if I can get rid of this monster. I guess i got to get a pick to get rid of that block. That's okay, we'll use this one too. And we'll see if uh, we can get out and kit this monster and see what it is and kill it. Uh, with only five hearts, which might be bad. Um, yeah, so this could be bad. I wonder, can we set a waypoint here? Let's set a waypoint here real quick. This is base. Just so I have it. Don't want to forget to do that. Okay, there we go. Ready to go outside? Let's see if we can find this thing. Because I hear it. Maybe it went away because of the daytime. Now you see all the little yellow X's. I press F7 and it brings that up. This is where monsters can spawn, um, but I don't have enough. Oh, whoa! They can spawn right there. And there you go. <laughs> Took out some of my bushes, but that's okay. Because uh, we have plenty, right? Okay, so we're going to have to get some of those here shortly. Oops, let me get this done here. And get this all figured out and rebuilt. We're going to harvest some of these uh, plants. We need some food badly. Just right-click on them. We got some raspberries. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put this bush here. We're going to build this corner back up. Um, I'm going to have to get some more of the uh, materials to do it. But we'll get this all ready to go, and uh, we'll see how we can get through this day. Okay, let me get some started on this stuff, and hopefully this weather will clear. All right, that's built up. The bushes are growing again. So I can have a minute to talk now that we're through the night. What is my plan for this uh, season, this series, if you will? Um, and the plan is I want to, this is a solo world. Um, I do have a server box in my basement, though, that can run this perhaps. And so I'm thinking that from time to time, I'll invite various people on to spend a day with me and that uh, we can then work together on enhancing the base and that sort of thing. So that's kind of uh, kind of the idea that I have. Um, so, you know, in the future, I probably will be having people on, and I'll probably have them on Discord, and they will be able to talk with me, and uh, we can uh, plan out stuff, and we can talk about some, talk to the people who are watching the series and doing things, okay? So that's kind of cool. Um, but right now, what we're going to do is we're going to look take a look here. One of the things I have been doing in other series I didn't do before, but I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the quest lines. I didn't do this so much in my last full craft, and I guess I should have, because they do have rewards and things. So we're going to do this right now. Right now, this is getting wood, and we have to get 64 of some wood. So let's just start hacking some trees down, and eventually we'll get enough for something. This is interesting, this um, stuff. And there's lots of different ores and things here, too. But let's go with someplace where it won't fall so much. Let's get this right here. There we go. Wow, get a lot of that. And what is this kind of tree is this? Eucalyptus sapling. And look at this. We got a cow. It is a what kind of cow. Veal Corleone. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so we're gonna go get some more of this particular wood and hopefully we'll get enough for this quest. Here we go. Now see that should have been enough. Because we got over a stack, right? Let me gather all this stuff up and let's see if it uh, has detected it or not. Doesn't sound like it. Also sounds like we've got some friends below the ground here. Okay, let's go back to the quest here. Detect. Oak wood. Log wood. Not complete. It's not counting it as this. So maybe we got to find that specific wood. Oh, wait. There it did. If you look at that. See, now it says it's complete. Okay. Uh, we can make it get a log chicken or wood seeds. I think a log chicken would be really good. We know the chickens in this mod pack are really nice. So I'm going to get that. There we go. Okay, now if I show that, do I have it here? Yes. Can't be bread. Why can't it be bread? I don't know. That's very strange. Okay, let's get this back to base real quick here. 
The next quest line says get a crafting table. Well, we've kind of already done that, so I should be able to go in here and just grab it. Get it in our inventory. And there it is. And it should say claim a crafting station. There we go. Good. And that opened up a lot of other things. So let's put the crafting station down. I'm going to put it right here. Crafting stations are cool because they'll take whatever the chest is next to them and kind of uh, pull the information or the uh, items in and also can keep items stored on it. So that's kind of nice. Okay, let's do some more of these quests really quick here. So it uh, looks like we can make wood armor. If we make a helmet and boots, we can get wood armor. That, we can do that. So is it, what, let's go see what we can do here. So I had all that wood. Let's grab this wood here. And I believe we have to make it into wood first. And let's see if we can do that. That didn't look right, did it? Okay, so maybe we need the actual logs. Let's try that. Okay, that doesn't work with this wood. So perhaps this wood is not the right type for the wood armor. Okay. Let's go see. So it's crafting table helmet, huh? And a crafting... Oh, wait, I'm missing this up. It's crafting table armor. So I'm assuming it takes crafting tables. Interesting. Okay. Is it getting dark already? Wow, that was a short day. Let me get this stuff here. Uh, yes. Okay, so let's uh, <laughs> let's go hide in here for a minute, and let's get some crafting table armor. And we need two pieces, it said, right? So if we take the wood here, and let's see here. Let's um, do that. There's a bunch of those. Now, is it this? No. Okay, so now we're going to go and look. Crafting. So let's say the helmet. It takes regular crafting tables. Not eucalyptus workbenches. Okay, so we definitely need to work with this kind of material instead of this material. So that's going to be a bummer for right now because we can't go out here without getting killed. Um, I don't think. Let's uh, let's go see. Let me build a sword up here. I wonder, can we make stone armor? Craft like cobblestone armor? Yes, we can. I can do that. Okay, so we'll at least have some armor to help us. Maybe we can go out there and, and do some stuff without uh, getting killed here. There we go. And we need to have a sword. Okay. And I'm going to put the rest of this back. Okay. I'll take the food with me. Or the, uh, yeah, the only food I have. And we're going to go out here in just a second. Here we go. Let's go find some more of that wood and try not to get killed here. This is going to be rough. Let's see if we can find some over here. I know it's kind of dark for you guys. I apologize. Here, wait. Let me make sure this is uh, set up as... Ah, let's do that. Right. There we go. I'm trying to find some... There's a cow. Almost scared me half to death there. Um, and there's a uh, creeper. Oh, and there's a spider. Oh, we got a loot bag there. Okay, I'm going to go over here a little bit where I have some room. Two creepers. Okay. This is going to be fun fighting two of them. I hear the lava. There we go. There we go. We got them. We didn't get much here, but let's see. check out this loot bag really quick. You ready? A tree, a thing, and gas tier. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's an ugly looking guy, isn't he? Okay, I don't know what that guy was. I've never experienced that guy before. But uh, that wasn't fun at all. This fighting at night is not good because um, I'm trying to get to a tree. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to uh, kill the spider, and then I'm going to uh, head back into the base here. Because uh, we'll wait the night out. There we go. Get some string at least. Okay. We're going back in here. <laughs> A little bit scary. Um, we'll have to just have to wait for the daytime. Okay. While I'm waiting for night, we're going to continue on with this. We need to get a furnace, and of course we have a furnace right here. Let's grab that. That should give us this quest complete. Let's uh, detect that. Claim it. Blocks of coal. Now that's pretty good. Okay. And it looks like we can make furnace armor. Now furnace armor 
um, has the ability to auto smelt. Maybe we should shift over to that because it'll smelt things automatically. Looks like we got some kitchen, some juicer. I already have a juicer, so let's make this right, right, real quick. Oh, we can't. We have to do uh, get a bunch of wheat. We haven't done that yet. Okay, so we've got some things that we can do here. This is going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's get the furnace armor. We know how to make that because it's just making furnaces to make a hat and boots. So let's do that. Okay, let's go grab some of our cobblestone. Okay, and let's just make... There we go. We have a bunch of that. There's furnace boots and a furnace helmet. And, of course, we need to put our furnace back that we uh, took. So let's do that. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the coal blocks in here. And I think we can wear this. And wear that. Now, we have to be careful with using this material because if we um, do this with coal, it'll make um, a different material than what we want. Um, but the nice thing is if we use this here, if I, for instance, if I go back to this block here and I mine it, instead of getting cobblestone, it automatically smelts it back into stone, which is really cool. It keeps, it saves some time in a way. It's automatic because of the smelting of the armor. It's very, very cool. So in working on this and kind of expanding this room out a little bit, now, of course, I can't mine this, like I said, because it needs an iron pick, which I don't have. Uh, we found this area right here, like a little cave. Now, I do have some torches. I'm going to light this up so we don't get attacked. It'd be nice to find some iron. That would be very useful. And this takes a pickaxe of iron, so we can't get that. So this little cave system here doesn't really do us any good. Now, this stuff here is entropy crystals, and I'm not sure what that is yet. I'm not sure what it takes to... And there's a little bit of lag spike. Now, I'm not sure what this takes to mine. I'm going to leave it here. We're going to head down this way. Now, we know that this water source is a pain, so we're going to block that up. We're going to go down here and see if we can find anything useful. Okay. So uh, let's go down and see here. And that's an air crystal. Hmm, interesting. That is an amber bearing stone. This is copper. We know about copper. Still no iron. But I'm hearing monsters. That's not good. Because they can get into our base. So we're going to have to create a way that they can't get into our base. But let's kill this guy here. Yep, you're going to die. Oh, oh, oh. Get away from me, little guy. There we go. Okay, so what's around here? Not much of anything. I see some coal. But we got a little bit of a cave system here. That scares me. That green makes me think it's like something bad. You know, like a creeper. Oh, there we go. And we found some iron. What's that? Quartz ore. I'm hearing monsters around here. Not sure where they are, but let's get this iron out real quick. Okay. And see that? It converted the iron into iron ingots right away. Isn't that fantastic? This iron, this armor is really good. So now we're going to go back here and we're going to... I think I should probably put something up here too. Uh, right there. Okay, so this leads out to where our base is over there. See over there? Isn't that cool? So we've got like a little bit of a hole. Now let's go back to our main base. I still don't know what that stuff is. i got to do some research, I think. Um, yeah, let's go back. And let's go see about making an iron pick and getting this copper out of my base up here. Okay. So we're going to go in here. Do we have any sticks? No. Let's get some sticks. I don't have enough sticks there. Let's use some of this other wood that doesn't seem to do very well for us. Okay. Do that. And we have our pick. Okay, now I can get this copper. Because I have the smelting armor, this should just immediately turn into copper ingots. Look at that. Like that. It's pretty easy. Grab some more. Look at this colless copper we're getting already. Just by uh, having the smelting armor. Very, very, very cool. Let's grab this too here. Let me in there. Okay. Great. All right. I am hearing outside here. I'm putting put this piece of armor away. I'm hearing, as you probably can hear, uh, an Enderman. So let's see if I can get the Enderman here. Let's go find out where he is. Okay, there he is. Let's make our little... Um, oh, and look, he's got some face on him. That's kind of cool. Get rid of this here. We're going to make a little platform here so that we can get underneath it and let him... Uh, hi. Not get us. Here we go.
Sorry about the noise. I gotta kind of uh, work on the uh, volumes. We did get our Ender Pearl. That's a good thing to have. Um, we also did get a hat that was unlocked. Now with the hats, um, I can't remember how we do that. There's a way to set up the hat that you can wear. I'll have to figure that out. Um, but I haven't done this in a while. So I wonder, can we get the, oh, we can get the amber too. Let's get this piece. And I'm not sure what this is used for yet. I'll have to check that out as well. There's so much in this uh, since I've last played Foolcraft that has been changed that I, I just need to double check things and learn as I'm going, almost relearning everything. But look at all this. We got lots of stuff here. Okay, excellent. Now, the one thing we saw here from the questing here, if you recall, is this right here says to get 64 wheat which means i need to get a farm so i'm going to do a farm right up here kind of like the way i did before uh, with all my farms or maybe i'll do it over here yeah i'll do it over here so let me uh, get the farm all set up and get some grass seeds and we're going to set to get this last quest uh before the episode ends oh wait look enderman it's under here hi sorry about the noise i didn't get a chance to change the volume there we go And you're dead. But we didn't get any uh, Ender Pearl. Okay, let me make up a little farming area, and then we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to do that quest. Still farming. One of the nice things is if you see, like, for instance, this wheat is fully grown, just right-click. And it'll automatically replant any seed that it got and give you the rest of it. So I'm just going like that. And then I'm just twerking away. And when I see something grow, I'll just go over here and click it, grab the seeds, and I'll start to slowly get this farm going here. And that's great. Now, it's slowly giving us wheat. And remember, when we get to 64, we'll be able to get the uh, next quest. So let's just keep on doing this. This is working out great. Now, see, no seeds there. Meanwhile, I'm getting these as well. So, yeah, this is uh, it's working out. Let me uh, finish this up until we get to the, the critical point of the 64 wheat that we need for that quest. I have 62 wheat. It only needs 64. So let's just twerk a little bit more. There's one. There's two. Okay, that should work. There we go, and there we go. That should be enough. Let's plant these other seeds real quick. There we go. Let's grab some of these while I'm right here. Okay, so we have enough now for that. It should be completed because we have 64, right? There we are. It's going to give us a lot more wheat. That's awesome. But now it does all of these. And these are pretty quick. We can get a juicer. You know, we've got that. We can also get some bread and pulverized wheat and all this other thing. So let's get the juicer quest because I know I've got a juicer because I've been using it already. Let's grab it, put it in our inventory. There we go. Okay, and juicer, detect. And look at that, we got 64 grapefruit juice because of that, which is a good food source. So uh, there we go. See, it's, it's basically what we've been getting already for food. All right, okay, so we've got one more thing I want to do before I end this episode. So let me put the stuff away, and we're going to go do that. The last thing I want to do, I can't resist it. It's nice uh, little old chance cube, so let's pop this chance cube. And hopefully it doesn't blow up my entire base that I have inside of this building. Okay, so here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 get out of here. Can I get out of here? No, 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 no. I can't take it out. Oh, well. <laughs> I walked on to pointy spike. Ouchies. Okay, so let's see. And I'm back clear back at the beginning where I died. Or where I, sorry, where I started. My base is over that way. Let's go back and uh, see what I can find, okay? <laughs> Give me a second. All right, I'm back. This thing killed me. That's why I couldn't get out. I couldn't jump up. You're basically stuck in there. It takes a pickaxe to get rid of these iron spikes, so that's might be a good thing that we got them. Okay, because that gave us a lot of useful stuff, so that's not a bad one. Okay, now how do we get this? Do we harvest it by... Uh, I guess maybe we have to jump on top of it and press the shift key. Yep, that's how you do it. Press, Jump on top, press shift. So that actually wasn't that bad. We got 34 iron spikes, and that's very useful. Let's get this coal too while I'm here. Now see, I forgot that I had this furnace armor, or, um, so I got lots of creosote bottles, which I never have really found a good use for. Okay, so uh, yeah, take the furnace armor off when you do that. All right, well, I think that's about all I have time for today. I'm going to try to get this series going, and like I said, I will be eventually inviting people over here to help out, maybe do some builds with them, talk with them, like kind of like interviewee kind of thing, and uh, that sort of stuff, okay? Uh, so I hope you do like this video. If you do like this video, please click that like button. I need those likes very much. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments section. I'm looking for comments. Uh, one comment came in. They wanted to see more modded. I thought, well, you know what? I would come back to this and see if how my computer handles it. Well, so far, it's doing really, really well. 
Um, also, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel and be notified of videos I produce, please do so. Um, I have to get up to the 1,000 subscriber mark that YouTube has put out, and I'm not there yet. So uh, anything you can do to help me, I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe to this channel, and hopefully you'll like the content that I'm producing. Okay? So that's about all I have time for. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.